All right, another question. If the radius of a right circular cylinder is doubled, how does its volume change? So I believe that the volume of a cylinder is given to you on the exam. But just in case it isn't, let's quickly see how you can try to remember it. Remember a cylinder, something like this. And all a cylinder really is, it's a circle, right? A circle with height. A circle with height. So the volume of a cylinder is going to be the area of the circle, remember which is pi r squared, times the height. It's a circle with height. Okay, so if the radius of a right circular cylinder is doubled, how does this volume change? Okay, so we want to do a compare. Compare. Here's the original. The original. Original. Volume is equal to pi r squared h. We did not do anything to the radius. Now let's see what happens if we double the radius. So we're going to replace the r with 2r. Double radius. So, volume, so r becomes 2r. So pi times 2r squared h. So I replaced this r with 2r because we doubled the radius times 2. Now let's simplify this a little bit. Volume is equal to pi times, what is 2r squared? Well, 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4, and r squared is r times r, which is r squared, h. Now let's try to get these to look like each other. We have a pi r squared h, a pi and r squared and h, but this 4 is out of place. So let's stick it in the front. So volume is equal to 4 pi r squared. So it looks like when we double the radius, our volume is 4 times the original. So that looks like the answer is always chi. C. 4 times the original. Don't be fooled and see that it says doubled means times 2. We have to actually compare by looking at both equations.